Welcome to Living Large on Little. I'm Beth Stevenson. This is a companion video to the one about food storage for supply chain emergencies. So I will link that one in the in the description of this. One. The, those are the foods that are going to um, sustain life. These are ones that are going to sustain lifestyle. So they're not essentials, but they're going to make us all a lot happier if we have them. We're going to start with things that add flavor and interest to our meals. And so we're going to have store things like cocoa powder, vanilla, cinnamon, taco seasoning, garlic, um, herbs and spices, pepper, salt, onion powder, um, this is a dressing mix, mayonnaise to mix in the dressing, and then um, powdered cheeses and gravy mixes. Um, there's also soup a soup base down here that will um, give you a powdered cheeses online. They cost about $10 a pound. Um, you can sometimes get them for a little less. I recommend that you look for ones that mix with water that don't require you to add milk and butter because then you don't, if you don't have those on hand, it doesn't taste very good. But the kind that just asks for water is really good. And then um, lots of Parmesan cheese. You probably would want uh, five or six of these for one person and probably three or four of these also of the cocoa mix or the cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. You all on to vegetables. Now there are certain ones that I'm going to urge you to store because they are so vitamin dense and they can be incorporated into a lot of different things and add really up the nutrition in your meals. Um, pumpkin, whether you bottle it yourself or whether you um, using a pressure cooker by the way or whether you buy it canned, pumpkin is very nutrient dense. Onions are another food that is very nutrient dense and they add a lot of flavor. So that's kind of what we're going for. Things that add a lot of flavor and are very nutrient dense. Um, the uh, tomato products is something that you want to make sure that you have a lot of. It's better to go too many than too little on tomato products because there are so many soups and stews and sauces that can be made with a tomato base. Um, tomato sauce, tomato paste, th these are home canned tomatoes that mix in and, and add a really nice flavor. Um, I also recommend that you store some cream soups. Cream soups are going to add uh, the ability to make uh, Alfredo sauces and gravies and uh, pasta dishes, rices, uh, just another sort, uh, an, another alternative that makes a really nice meal. When you mix it with Parmesan cheese, you can make a really nice Alfredo sauce very simply. Um, the one thing that probably is not going to be high on your list, but I'm going to recommend it anyway, and that is canned spinach because it uh, is extremely nutrient dense even in the ca even once it's been canned and so it can be put into things like scrambled eggs or into a pasta dish where it isn't we're going moving on from vegetables to meats and and uh, the vegetables i will mention you're going to want to have about 90 pounds total which um, this bottle is a quart of tomato so that is two pounds Of the meats, you're going to want to have the equivalent of 30 pounds. Now, um, four cans of this chicken equals three pounds because they're they're 12 and a half ounces, and so equivalent the equivalent of 30 pounds. That's not going to be heavy on the meat because a lot of people eat meat more than once a day, and that's going to be allowing about a third of a pound um, per day per person. So. It's not a lot. It's not. It's not a real heavy serving of meat. Um, I include bacon crumbles because they have a really long life and they are, add a lot of flavor to a lot of things. So they're a good alternative. They make life really happy. Um, I have friends that say everything's better with bacon, and I think it's true. On to fruits. Have about 30 pounds of fruit stored up for each person. Um, dry fruits. Uh, make 10 pounds of those 30 pounds dry fruits. You can use raisins or craisins or dried apples or whatever form you want. Last of all, we're going to talk about your toiletries. Um, have plenty of toothpaste because Americans are used to using toothpaste and it's nice to have. 
have plenty of petroleum jelly because it's versatile. It is a skin protectant and a moisturizer. Shampoo. Store multivitamins uh, just in case there are gaps in your diet. Make sure you have plenty of acetaminophen and ibuprofen um, in case you get sick and any other drugs or over-the-counter medicines that you take regularly, make sure that you have those on hand in a good supply. Last of all, detergents. I recommend that you go for a big quantity of dish detergent just because it's versatile. It can be used as a laundry detergent. It can be used as um, for dishes or for hand washing. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe or share or just like us.